Hey, I'm back working on this uh, 1978 Ford F100. Doing some rust repair on the uh, floorboard here. Um, this is no, by no means going to be a Barrett Jackson auction truck. This is a uh, rust repair and light um, restoration, if you want to call it that. Get it back on the road and uh, this kid just wants to drive it. So um, we replaced the floorboard uh, previously. Still need to do some welding and some some fitting here. I got to cut this piece of sheet metal a little closer to fit. Uh, get it bent up and uh, clean these edges up, grind them down and uh, weld this in. I'll get, I'll get to cutting, be right back. All right, so I got, uh, I got this piece trimmed up. Uh, Pop some holes in it so I can do some plug welds around the out, outside and on this support here. Um, what I'll do is I'll plug weld one or two holes here and then start working it with the hammer and get it fit just right and then I'll weld the whole perimeter. Just, uh, I'll just weld the perimeter. I'll show you again when I'm when I'm done. I got a bit of a gap to deal with here. Just for just for everybody's knowledge, I would never weld like this on a panel like like over here on the on the bedside. It would warp the panel all over. You got a spot weld, a little bit here, a little bit there, and work your way around and cool the entire panel. Um, if you tried to weld like that over there, 
you'd end up with a roller coaster on the side of the truck. To fill this gap, I'm gonna just tack a little bit, um, let it cool, tack a little bit more, let it cool. This is 18 gauge, I think, so it's pretty thick. So it'll take a little bit, a little bit of heat, but nothing, nothing crazy. So I managed to uh, fill the gap, the Grand Canyon. Um, turned out pretty nice. I mean, I hit it with the grinder, kind of round that corner. And then I'll tell you what, once there's carpet and a seat over the top of it, it'll be just great. Now right here, I kind of, I kind of boinked this, but uh, see where I left that lip a little long. I've got it. I've got it plug welded, but I can still I can still manage to zip this off um, to bring it back behind this uh, bull nose a little bit. So I'll just get I'll just scribe a line across here and carefully get it with the angle grinder, and then I gotta finish uh, finish welding all this. Uh, the owner of the truck, Jonah was practicing welding in here he's never welded before so that's first time welder he started to get the hang of it back in this corner um but i'll tell you if you've never welded sheet metal it's a lot different than welding uh quarter inch plate or or, or whatever um sheet metal is a whole new animal the bottom's gonna get uh, undercoated really good, and the kid's gonna be driving this thing. So this is the passenger side floorboard. Um, you can see it's hard to believe it's in better shape than the driver side was. Um, on the driver side, this whole this whole thing was completely rotten out. I had to I had to bend a new piece of sheet metal here. Um, and rebuild this. Um, I mean, it's it's still solid, like it'll hold your feet, but it's definitely rotten. So uh, Jonah has bought all new replacement uh, floor pans for this. I'm going to basically cut out as much as I did on the driver's side to replace this. There's no point on trying to piece in smaller pieces and try to weld it to rusty steel so what I'm gonna end up doing is basically cutting across here straighter obviously across there peel this all out um, take clear up to here like I did on the driver's side well about in there and then uh, this seems to be in better shape but I'm still going to replace probably at least at least that much of it just to get out of the the rot. Um, but everything else is solid. I mean, it's super solid up here. Obviously, the doghouse is super solid. Um, just this, I mean, you could clean this up and put some rust treatment on it and make it last uh, ten more years, but. We're, since we're in here doing this, we're going to just cut it out and replace it. So I'll, I'll lay it out, uh, crawl underneath, make sure there's no fuel lines or anything under there. It's going to catch on fire. Um, cut it out with the plasma torch and uh, start piecing the new panel back in. Fortunately, their, their uh, replacement panels are super easy to piece in there there's no fabricating or anything you just decide where you're going to cut it to length or and uh and, and cut it they come quite large so you can cut quite a bit off of them um yeah, cut them and then just just weld them in
there's Jonah over there. He decided to show up. Work on my truck. He's working on his truck. He's the grinder. So uh, I got this all laid out, ready to cut. Um, I crawled underneath and looked, and there's literally nothing under there. Not even wiring, so uh, I'm not going to burn the truck down, I hope. So I'm going to get the plasma torch all set up, cut all this up, cut it out, and then we'll fit the new piece in, get it tacked in, and then Jonah can practice his welding skills. So I've been peeling this floorboard back. Um, it's spot welded to the, uh, the cab mount here in the corner. So I've been peeling it back, finding the spot welds, cutting the spot welds with the uh, plasma torch and peeling it off. And then when I put the new floorboard in, I'll drill a bunch of holes in the floorboard uh, where it lines up with the cab mount and just plug weld those. We'll clean that all up and put a little rust treatment on it, a uh, rust converter, and it'll last another 30 years. I gotta find the spot welds in here, drill those out, or grind them out, and uh, remove all that. Okay, before we get too far, let's check the fit over here. Looks pretty good, huh? Okay, we'll work our way around, get all these plugged up. getting showered in sparks in here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Jonah is got that patch all built right there. We got the uh, floorboard completely welded in. Looking pretty good. We just got to do one more patch right there and then he can put a seat back in drive this thing if you want. Of course, there's quite a bit more to do. I don't think that's supposed to be there. And there's a matching one on the other side. There's Preston. Don't think the lack of something is supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll get that buzzed in and then Jonah can throw a seat in here and Drive into the sunset. So we got it all patched up. Missed some holes there on the body mount. I've got to fill those holes. And uh, Jonah's got some grinding to do. Fortunately, Jonah's going to get real good at grinding because I. If you're interested in more, we'll be putting out more content on this 78 Ford. We'll be putting in new cab corners. 
uh, bed sides and working on the front fenders and getting this thing ready for paint. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, and we'll share some more content on this classic Ford pickup.